Welcome back to Rumatures. It's summertime and we're kicking off our summer beer reviews with Phosphorescence from Bottle Logic Brewing. That's right, Mary. Your favorite, Bottle Logic, is here. Not a stout. This is a tiki strong ale. This is a strong ale brewed with lactose and aged in bourbon barrels, then finished with your favorite coconut, pineapple, and almond. So you get me with the bottle logic, but then you tell me it's not a stout and there's coconut in it. Oh yeah. You're rude. Food pairings are four fat fowls, St. Stephen, huli huli chicken, Hawaiian butter mochi. What are any of those things except for mochi? I have no idea. The director's notes are, the sea, once it casts its spell, holds one in its net of wonder forever. By JC. Jesus Christ? Maybe. Do you think that Jesus Christ's like Jesus' friends called him JC for short? Yeah. What's up, JC? Yeah. Hey, it's the Lamb of God. There he is. A little LG. A little Lamb of God. Log. <laughs> There's the log. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, what better to kick off summer beer reviews than a tiki inspired strong ale? Should we pour it over ice? No, it's not that kind of uh, cocktail drink. It's still a strong ale. Still pouring it in a snifter. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard of. Well, obviously, coconut and pineapple, that's a, a. What do you call it? A Mai Tai? What? Coconut and pineapple go together in a lot of drinks. But that's a Mai Tai, right? It's a Mai Tai, pina colada. Oh yeah, pina colada, that's what I was thinking of. I have never Blue heard Hawaiian. of coconut, pineapple, and almond together though. I think that's a little strange, but hey, it's gonna work. I know it's gonna work because it's my logic and I love you. Yeah, now that I bring it up, maybe it's inspired by a Blue Hawaii or a Blue Hawaiian because of the color. Yeah. That's and, what that's reminding me of. But I don't know what's in there other and, than Blue Kirkho. And everything in here, like the food pairings are all Hawaiian, looks like. Well, tiki, tropical, you think yeah. Hawaii if you're in the U.S. most of the time. I've never had a blue Hawaiian before. Neither have I. Brett? Brett. <laughs> Gotta send us that recipe. Um, I love the label. Love the blue color. I love the little wave. Um, it's got the little, like, lay flowers mm -hmm. bordering it. I really like this label. I like the blue. I like the different shades of blue. Like, I'm very boring like that. You pick one color, you just do different shades of it. And it looks good. Uh, this is from 2021, so it is a couple years old uh, by the time we're drinking it here now. So we'll see how it tastes. So that's enough talking. Let's get to drinking. All right, let's crack open this beer. No wax, no worries. No wax, no problem. Love you, Bottle Logic. Love pointing too, apparently. Oh, I don't like that color. Strong ale. You've had some strong ales before. <sighs> and you liked them. It looks like it's just going to be sticky. Well, it is based off a tiki cocktail, and those are kind of sugary. It smells really good, though. Really good. Ooh, that smells tropical. I get a lot of the, the alcohol and almond. A little bit of trash, I'm just kidding. I'm so just the kidding. first thing I'm picking up on is <laughs> <laughs> like probably like pineapple and caramel and then the alcohol. This is overwhelmingly alcoholy to me. Really? You think yeah. it's like high ABV? It smells like it is. I know what the ABV is. Um but it's hard because, you know, sometimes you smell beer and it tastes like nothing, or it smells like nothing, and it's a 20% beer. This could be like 9% for all you know. Yeah, this smells like some of their barley wines I've had in the past. Mm -hmm. um, really caramely and sweet, really. You're not getting any of the almond? No. Does it smell like our almond extract? Like that strong almond Maybe. smell? Yeah. You gotta get your nose in there, go like this. Make your nose touch the beer. No. <laughs> Snort it a little. <laughs> Let's taste it. Mmm. <laughs> it's very strong. 
right when it hit my tongue, but then... For a sip, and then it dies down really quick. Yeah. It's good. I mean, I can't... It, I can tell you that it's not a stout. I can tell you that it's not a barley wine. I don't really know what a strong ale is. It's just a watered-down porter. But, um... I can't taste any of the... the adjuncts. Now... Much like you on the nose, the one adjunct I do taste is the almond. At the very end, all almond. Yeah, I can see that. But no pineapple, no coconut. Um, this is relatively warm for us. I kind of more just give it a quick chill, and then we're drinking it now. So it's still a little cold, but mm -hmm. not like 32 degrees or anything. I really enjoy this. I don't know why, because I don't get any kind of really necessarily strong flavors like pineapple or coconut. Like you said, a little bit of almond at the tail end, but it's very, it was very boozy the first sip. And I could tell that I'm drinking beer, but I don't know. This, for you, it could be a 9%, it could be a 15%. It's a it's a nice smooth beer. It's it's good. I mean, you're gonna sip on this. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely is lighter than a stout. Mm -hmm. um, it is brighter. It's um, got that like it's not chocolatey. It's more of just sweet and maybe tropical. But then the almonds there too in the end. Uh, every, like it's very opposite all of their stouts because obviously we're not getting any of the chocolate or any of the other stuff. Um, really good for summertime, I think. It's yeah, this is perfect. Um, you're right; it is very sweet. It's not heavy like a porter or a stout, but it wants to be a porter. It wants to be a porter. It's just a watered down porter, and a porter is a watered down stout. So everybody wants to be a stout. I want to be a stout. What do you want to be? Let us know down in the comments below. Um, ABV wise, it I feel like it smells and tastes hotter than it probably is. I feel like 2021 and on, Bottle Watch has been kind of toning down alcohol in some of their things. Uh, I'm assuming two dozen places? Zero. Wow. That's, see, that's also different from Bottle Logic. I'm going to say this is 13%. It's 13.00%. Zero decimal places is too easy. What's my lucky number? What makes it so lucky for you? What's my lucky number? Oh, mine too. Taylor Swift's too. Thirteen. Really? That's the Maris. Oh, the Maris. Let's look down the comments <laughs> below. What's Taylor Swift's lucky number? Um, do you need any time? I like how to give it a five. Oh wow, perfect score from you. I'm going to give this a 4.25. I'm missing the coconut. I'm missing pineapple. That's what I came here for. And I'm walking away with a strong ale that I'm happy with. Still giving it that A grade, but I really expected those fruit flavors. I really took a huge sip and it's so boozy. <laughs> it's so boozy. It's so boozy. I love it though. Yeah. If you, I mean, I think that works because it is supposed to be making a tiki cocktail. Mm -hmm. And some of those, they can either be, you don't taste the alcohol at all, or they can be pretty boozy themselves, depending on what alcohol they use. Yeah, I feel like a lot of cocktails, though, unless they're just like a straight, like, classic cocktail, a lot of, like, if you go to, like, a speakeasy or, like, a, like a little gimmicky bar, they try to mask the flavor of the cocktail or the, the alcohol and put some bullshit flaming cinnamon stick on top oh but not this speaking is good. from experience though but this is good but it's very boozy yeah maybe cinnamon is the only one that's coming to mind now that you mention it there's no cinnamon in here but it's kind of got like that maybe it's the alcohol with the almond it's got a little bit of that spice mm -hmm. yeah i can yeah. see that tasty very good another banger from bottle logic always that's gonna do for today's beer review i hope you enjoyed it like share subscribe do all the things, click the bell icon, it all helps us out. And until next we meet, we're the Rumor Trigger, trying every beer around the world. One, One sip, sip at a time. time.